Right, I don't know how much I'll add on to this, but uh, I'm going to refurb this Volvo 12T Turbo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it all apart, make it look something like that, with all the extra bits and pieces, clean them all up, have them look like that, and then eventually have it all back together looking like this again. So, I don't know, I'll try and document as best I can. And uh, yeah, I suppose uh, let's, let's get started, I guess. So first and foremost, you want to see, do you need to rebuild it? Yeah. Let's measure your shaft play up and down and side to side. This one doesn't really need it, but I just want the shaft out for another application. So when you've decided you want to um, rebuild it, clean all the rust and scutter off it and have it as clean as you can before you start pulling it apart. It'll be clean a little bit better, but for the purpose of this, Clean up, spray plenty of your favourite penetrating fluid, oil, whatever you want on it, and let it soak for a while. So we'll come back to that in a bit. That, that, so forth, so on. Come back in a minute or two. To break it down to its CHRA, we need to split hot side off before we can get the cold side off. So make sure you have plenty of fluid on that and just take this band off. Of course, it goes without saying, keep everything together in a box or you lose track of it fairly quickly. Now, it goes without saying, give this plenty of time to let it work through because they will be seized solid and take your time using the hammer around it. The last thing you want to do is to burr it or crack it or, yeah, far worse than that actually. So I'm not going to be using this housing again, so I don't really give a toss about it. But um, essentially, when you're all finished, you should just start it fall off something like that there you go about and as you can see it has to work its way through that sort of stuff now that we have the room for the circlip first of all make sure you have a circlip that will actually fit into those and second of all move those a little bit first with a uh, hammer and punch otherwise you're in for a rough time and again Clean it as much as you can. Give yourself every chance possible. I guess it goes without saying, if you're putting these all back together, scribe them in the right way so you have a rough idea where they're going to go back roughly, and then you can tweak it from there on. Now, once you're down this far, this is where we get to the nitty-gritty. So, you can see this one's actually not too bad in terms of its play up and down. That's acceptable. All right. We want to clean it all off. Because if you're only just replacing the bearings, have everything all aligned. We want to align the compressor wheel, the nut and the shaft all together. So we'll clean it up first and come back to that when it's cleaned up. Right, so when you have it all fairly clean anyway, and dry it up well, you can see the wheel has been balanced along with the nut to the shaft. Now I... What I tend to do is you can either take a photo of these or you can get a small bit of a bristle, drape it in a bit of Tipex and put in a line across. We'll get to that now in a minute or two. But as I was saying earlier, my application is slightly different. Uh, I only want the shaft and uh, hot, uh, I just want the shaft and the turbine out of this to fit into this machined TDO4 so I can attach it to this billet T, uh, 20T. So back to that in a few minutes that came out a bit shite i'll redo it again in a bit but um you get the picture anyway shaft nut turbine compressor wheel all have to be synced up so when you're putting it back together you don't lose your balancing so i'll redo that again in a bit never forget with these your left hand thread don't make the same mistake I did the first time. You go the wrong way and bust the shaft in half. That was many, many years ago at this stage. And if you've done that right, your mark should still be. Yeah, you focus. You'll still have your mark matching up. If you were unsure, just take a photo. I've done countless of these ones, so I know where this one goes anyway the bones of this now so we'll take the center out the circlip first let's be careful 
she had a little grip on it. Pry the center up slightly. Make sure you don't lose your scribing on the shaft. Mark it inside further if you have to. You have a small block of wood, give it a tap gently, and the whole lot should fall out at the back. Again, take your time. This just pries up, and underneath it you have your thrust bearing. And underneath that will be the we'll put you to one side. Carefully. And there is your journal bearing. I'm just trying to remember what way they go on, but uh, just beware. There's a little collar that sits on top of it as well, so don't lose it. And there's the other half sitting on the shaft. So, let's clean it all up and we'll put it all back together. Let's make sure to get the best bearing kit that you can uh, get your hands on. It should contain all the bits and pieces, your journal bearing, your trust bearing, your oil seals, etc, etc. I suppose when I have both of these out, all right. You can see this one I'm quite happy with. Right. Well, the one beside it is a little bit on the it's too clean for my liking the way it came out. No. God damn it. Focus, there we go. There's a few extra score marks on it I'm not happy with, hence why I'm going down this route. You can see, for example, there's this line. Not one bit happy with that. And this one is fine. So that'll be going back in. As well as that, another telltale sign is the backing plate. Nice and clean compared to the other one, which was just stink. So again, that's not going back. No. If you're unsure how it all goes back together, just lay it out and try and have it orientated the right way. <clears throat> like for example, you can strip your thrust bearing. And your little oil seal here, make sure you put plenty of oil on that. Be a bit fiddly to get back in, but make sure it's all clean and spotless. You'd be surprised how dirty they can get. And I'll do a bit more work on that one before I put it back together. Now, cleanliness is key. One thing I cannot stress enough is never, ever, ever put these back together bone dry. You're going to have a very, very short life with this. So always keep them well oiled when you're putting them back together. I'm going to oil this one a little bit more actually, but the rest has all been put back together nicely. Tons of oil in it. And even before I start, it'll be priming her with oil. But uh, always keep them well oiled when you're putting them back together. Right, all back together. Uh, I'll do another video of this being fitted to the car, but yeah, all shot back. I have other bits to fit to this another time, but uh, yeah, take your time and uh, go nice and slowly at it. Use this video as a guide rather than a how-to.